Hey folks, welcome to Wolpins Giving Den. Today we're going to unbox the Great Wall by Awakened Realms. Uh, this, of course, is a very, very recent uh, game that's uh, been, uh, they've started delivering it to a bunch of Kickstarter backers. Uh, I believe a bunch of them might have been delivered in other markets, but here in Canada, uh, this just recently dropped uh, for myself at least. So I'm, it's, it's a game I've definitely been looking forward to for quite a while, so I'm really excited to crack into it and see what's inside the box itself. Now, uh, this is from Awakened Realms, as I mentioned, who do, uh, you know, sort of like large, big box, thematic games. This, on the other hand, uh, is most likely a Euro game. So it's definitely going to be a different beast compared to what they usually put out. So I'm very excited to see that because of that. Uh, and also because, again, from a theme point, from a thematic point of view, from an aesthetics point of view, it just looked uh, really good uh, on the Kickstarter page and all the videos that I saw. So... Uh, I'm really excited to try it out and see what's inside the box. So without further ado, let's crack into it. Now, before we do, uh, we can obviously see that there is a, uh, you get lovely artwork up on the front over here and good contrast with the white background. So definitely first impressions are definitely fairly good. And then on the back, we get to see an overview of the game itself. So this is a competitive strategy game for one to four players set in medieval China that blends historical themes with a pinch of fantasy flavor. The game includes cooperative and solo modes. Uh, there's going to be a bunch of components in here. So we get uh, cards, we get screens, we get double-sided boards. Uh, the version that I have here is the one with the miniatures. I believe there was uh, an option to back uh, a version with wooden meeples as well. I did not go for that. I went for the one uh, that we have over here, but these are not sun drop, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see what's inside <laughs> and hopefully we'll refresh my memory on what I'd actually packed uh, for myself. Uh, but again, I'm expecting stellar components. It is not a short game. It's rated at two to three hours. I expect it to play between one to four players. So keep that in mind. It's definitely, you definitely need to have some time set aside for this if you want to get it to the table. But with that said, I'm not going to ramble on much longer. Let's crack into it and see what we have inside the box. And while we do that, uh, I will quickly mention, obviously, um, the game came with a whole bunch of different Kickstarter extras. Uh, I will have a separate video for that simply because I don't want a single video that's like super long uh, for you guys to go through. But if you want to see what uh, this box has, you're in the right spot. If you want to see what the... Uh, extras that I'd ordered, so like the upgraded resources, uh, play mat, uh, the stretch goals box and whatnot. There's going to be a separate video for that. Uh, and I believe I had another expansion called Black Potter. There's a, going to be a separate video for that. So there's going to be three videos in total uh, for the unboxings associated with the Great Wall. So uh, check out the one that's of interest to you. Uh, but if you want to see everything that was in there, at least for the version that I have, uh, you're at the right spot. Uh, check out the rest of the video and you can also check out the links that I will have posted for the others down in the description uh, below. So, right, with that said, let's get the lid off. Nice, lovely black lid. Seems like a sturdy box, so that's good. You get ni nice visual flares on the side as well. Sorry about the movement of the camera, folks. Uh, it is a bit of a juggling act to move this box around, but uh, first impression is definitely quite good. We're gonna get this gel pack out of the way. So first things, we get a rule book, uh, and it's not as thick as I thought it would be, so that's interesting. I don't know if it's because they've really distilled the rules down to the pieces you need to know, or uh, because of something else, but uh, yeah. So we get a overview of the components, we get a box, bunch of minis, bunch of cards, but a bunch of pieces. Introduction, uh, game board setup, all very nicely numbered and laid out, so that's good. Uh, description of the cards, basic rules. Now there's a lot of text once you start going through it, so there's definitely rules to go through. Uh, and yeah, and you get a solo mode as well. You get a co-op mode, which is interesting, so you can play this competitively or you can play this cooperatively. Uh, you get an index uh, and hopefully a very good eyesight because uh, you will need it uh, to be able to sort of like uh, figure out what's on what page. It's a pretty small flow of the game, uh, sort of like a reference sheet at the back of the rule book. Uh, overall, I wish there was uh, maybe more visuals to just quickly uh, 
layout, what you're doing with the rules and whatnot, but uh, I've not had any major issues with their recent games as far as rules are concerned, except, well, maybe for ether field perhaps a little bit um, but uh, hopefully it's easy to crack into and see what's happening with that uh, we get I think these might be player screens and do we get four of these we get four of these so I'm guessing these are for the four different players uh, and they are differentiated by color so you get green yellow blue and red uh, but otherwise they artistically they're pretty similar i mean they look they have this watercolor aesthetic to it art actually is different sorry never mind not just the color the art is different but you're definitely going to tell it apart by the color more than anything else and then on the other side you get to see uh reference material laid out shame tokens well that's going to be interesting uh advanced, <laughs> advanced activation and whatnot economy despotism banners attack uh, yeah, so looks like, you know, you can use this as your reference sheet as you have the thingy folded and laid out in front of you. So you get four of these in the base game box. We'll move this to the side. Uh, now we get what I assume is a full-size board. Uh, we'll move this to the side and we'll come back to this maybe at the end of the video once we've moved things around a bit. Uh, we get a bunch of cardboard pieces. Let's maybe crack into this and see what's happening in here before we go any further. Uh, and I can see that we have the miniatures next, so that's definitely exciting. All right, so we get, uh, what is this, four of these? Uh, and yeah, so it looks like you're definitely gonna be constructing cardboard structures, which will potentially go on the game board. Uh, and as you can see, these things, uh, well, maybe you can see or maybe you can't see, I'm not sure. Uh, but these punch out, right? So, yeah, so you're gonna be making structures uh, with this maybe going on top and then maybe some of these going on the side. So I'm, I'm just guessing potentially creating that wall on the board. Uh, and if I remember some of the videos I saw correctly, then that might be the case. Thickness is definitely good. Uh, it's uh, nice thickness to it so hopefully that's going to be good uh, for longevity although I do have to say I'm not really sure how once you construct these different uh, components you're going to be able to fit them back into the box because you don't really have a lot of uh, depth to go in there do you well hmm. all right so we get more of these and then we get some of these tokens uh, maybe just points markers once you cross a certain threshold and then other tokens of sorts, which is nice. Uh, but overall, I'm, I'm happy with the quality on these because these are pretty thick. And oh, this is not a straightforward cutout. So you're going to be putting these installations out on the side somewhere as a means of keeping your enemies out. So that's nice. So that's the cardboard. Now, obviously, we want to crack into the miniatures. So let's have a look at these now. These are not sun dropped, so you will definitely have some sun drop miniatures out there, which you can see in some other videos and ex excellent level of detail on some of these, but these are the standard ones. And you know what I have to say, this is, this is excellent, excellent detail, guys. This is very, very nice. Yeah, I, I really like this. This is definitely one of the better detailed miniatures. I mean, Awakened Realms do really good stuff but it looks like they've really gone all out on the quality of these this is exceptional let's have a look at a few more yeah this is i am very happy with how these look i am very very happy with how these look uh, and if you're somebody who's into painting this is this is going to be your dream project uh, if you like painting miniatures and you love strategy games well you got the one you need to have your attention on uh, for the rest of this year, maybe even the next one. Yeah. So in the interest of time, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll quick make sure that I can just show you enough to give you a good flavor of what's inside the box. And again, uh, absolutely loving the level of detail on these. Uh, right. So that's the top lid right here. Let's move it out. Uh, so these were two of the four factions I'm assuming the game comes with. 
So we'll move this there. Now we get another layer with more miniatures because we did not have enough in the first ray, obviously. Ah, uh, this is nice. These look like uh, religious dudes of sorts. Uh, whereas these look like archers. Nice. And these, of course, are your standard skirmish melee soldiers, I think. Uh, I'm just going by the mold here. I'm not really, haven't really gone through the rules, obviously, so I don't really know. But again, excellent level of detail continuing throughout. Very happy with these. Well, these horsemen are particularly, uh, particularly impressive, especially the, I mean, the banner on the backs there, everything else that's going on in here. Very happy with the, what's happening with these. Uh, maybe I'll move this one out first. Yeah, let's do that. All right. And you know what? Kudos to them for using these uh, lids on top of the inserts, everybody who's using, I mean, I know that uh, there's a lot of push that has gone out to make sure that uh, more and more games come with inserts. Not enough has been done to make sure that these inserts comes with, uh, come with lids, uh, which is crucial because I stack most of my games vertically and they just all shift around. So uh, unless you, again, start putting things into, you know, bags, it's, uh, inserts aren't really that helpful. It just, to somebody like me, uh, they might be to you, but for me at least, it uh, doesn't really help out that much. Uh, right. These are plastic pieces. I assume they correspond to individual uh, play colors. This I assume is a dragon. Oh, and these are different for the different players. So you get the monkey, you get a turtle, I think, and snake for the last one. Uh, so you get two pieces in each of those colors. That's there. Uh, we have a bunch of cards. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's definitely quite a few of them, but I'll try to cover enough just to give you a sense of what's in here. Uh, thickness of the cards is all right. Finish is not bad. Artwork is certainly excellent. And these all, well, there's enough uniqueness in here with the artwork to really make this thing stand out. Uh, and I love sort of like the aesthetics on the cards as well. This is, yeah. So you get uh, these on the other side, which perhaps tell you the kind of card you're dealing with. And then you get these. I mean, I'll quickly maybe just zoom in to give you a sense of the artwork on these, but it is, it is excellent. Uh, and then you have what looks like more traditional action cards. Uh, in here. So you get uh, Fall of the Academy, Heavy Rainfall, Monopoly, Reinforcements. Artwork on these are the same, but these, for the most part, seemed like they had unique artwork for these. So that's nice. Uh, these are different kind of cards. So we'll quickly take a peek at what's happening in here. Uh, heroic fight, rob the dead, withdraw. Are oh, the aesthetics? I mean, uh, you go from realistic artwork to you know artwork like these, to more traditional action cards. I mean, you definitely are seeing variety in terms of the aesthetics of the card, and the quality of the artwork is definitely really, really nice. I am very happy with what I'm seeing here so far. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all of these, but these are good. These are certifiably good. Right, now we get a bunch of smaller cards, which do something, I think. Yeah. All right, so you get these. I'm not going to spend more time on that. Oh, you get this larger. These are not tarot sized, I think. These might be larger than tarot size. Um, but you get a whole bunch of these. There's, in fact, a second stack right there, which I haven't brought out. And it looks like these are named characters. So these might be like characters in the game that you control. 
I don't know, but there's a lot of these. There is a lot of these. That's exciting. Uh, these look like tactics or something you're completing or something you can do or resources you might get. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's there. We'll put this back in and bring up the next set. Uh, da -da -da -da. All right. These are what leader cards. More of that resource thingy that we saw in the other one, but they have different colors and background, which mm, makes me feel like they might be somewhat different in terms of what they do. But then there's a whole bunch of these. Uh, so I'm not going to go through all of these, but lots and lots of cards for you to get through. So that's good. That's there. Uh, we get a tray. Oh, well, there's a something that might want you might want to put in here. I'm not really sure what that is, but it is empty right now. But we do get more resources. So let's have a look at these. Well, I have a separate box for upgraded resources, and these already look pretty good as it is. I'm not sure if I needed the uh, upgraded ones. Uh, right. Oops, there's a bunch of them that fell. Uh, but overall, I'm not really sure if this is plastic or wood. Uh, they sound like plastic, but they feel like wood. So that's a bit confusing. Uh, then you get this guy. Yeah, these are definitely plastic. Uh, they seem to be sort of like uh, ores of some sort. Gold, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, so that's there. And then you get more of the same in these shiny blue ones which might be gems you get i assume these are wood uh on in there and then we get something in red let's maybe have a look at this one uh, yeah these are def these these look like blood tokens of sorts so and again these are plastic as well and i think this might be Sort of like, you know, they go in their own spots over here. So that's nice. Uh, yeah, overall resource components. I, I don't know whether you need an upgraded version of this because this is all quite good as it is. But uh, yeah, so that's most of the stuff. And I'm going to take a quick minute, uh, move all of these to the side, and then we'll come back and have a look at the board. All right, so we've moved stuff around and we are back with the game board. So let's have a quick look at what this is all about. Do I have the right side? Maybe I do, maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, there we go. Okay, so it is double-sided because I can definitely see something on the other side. Uh, so now let's see if we can fit all of these in the frame. And we can more or less. I mean, you can definitely see the two ends over there and you have the two ends here. Uh, and just a little larger than the length over here. The width, we can more or less sort of like get a sense, but it is definitely a full-size board. Artwork on this looks nice. Uh, I, I, it looks a little busy. So again, I'm, I would be interested to see how this plays out in practice as opposed to sort of like the way that it looks right now. But uh, a lot of these stuff sort of like, uh, there's a lot of colors that are prominent and these might be a little difficult to make out at least for first play when you're going through it. Uh, and then of course you have more of these over there. Uh, and in terms of the artwork itself, uh, it looks like watercolored. So aesthetically, it's definitely good. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just wondering sort of like the practical implications of having this blend of aesthetics with the symbology and the numbers and whatnot that we have, that we have out on the game board now. Uh, so it looks like on the sides, we might have spots for different cards or things we might put out. We have more of those going on that side over there. You have a points track that goes all the way around to 100. So it doesn't go around the board. Rather, it goes through two of the sides. And the side that we have over here looks like this is for the four and five player game. So I'm just going to quickly flip this over and see what's happening on the other side. Uh, I assume that might be, yep. So it looks like this is the three player side. I uh, wonder what happens if you're playing with two players. Hmm. I do not know. Can you play this with two players? I'm not sure. Uh, the box did say one to four, right? Or one to five, was it? 
Okay, now I'm blanking. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's the game board for the Great Wall. Overall, uh, I mean, in terms of overall production for the game, it is uh definitely stellar uh at first glance again i'm not sure how easy it's going to be to put together some of those cardboard structures uh but assuming that comes along well this is this is a very well put together uh, uh production minis in particular stellar uh, artwork on the cards quality of the cards all very good quality of the resources quality of the insert from what i could see so far excellent throughout the board so very happy with what's inside uh, and very excited to try out a great wall as soon as I can for myself. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching, guys. Again, as I mentioned earlier at the start of the video, if you are interested to see the uh, extras that I had uh, sort of like ordered with this one as well, such as the playmat, uh, upgraded resources, and other stuff, as well as the expansion, I'll have the link for those down below. So check them out uh, if that's something that's of interest to you. Uh, more videos uh, like these, unboxings, tutorials, reviews coming up pretty soon. So. If it's the kind of thing you're interested in, do subscribe to the channel. That way you get updated uh, when and as they drop. In the meanwhile, thank you for watching and I will see you at the next one. Take care.